everyone, David Zeritsky for the Bond Experience. My hair looks like almost an afro. That means it's time for a haircut. But more importantly, it's time for probably one of the most popular videos. The one that everybody's been asking for to see this gentleman, John the Barber. That means this is the Spectre haircut. John, good to see you again. What's up, Dave? How you doing? Even though we see each other every two weeks. Every two weeks. we got to have the pomp and circumstance. <laughs> Absolutely. So, I I've got to ask you, before we sit down, I I I'm telling you, it's like the Beatles with you. Um, it doesn't matter what video I post, everybody says, hey, nice video. By the way, when are you going to do the Spectre haircut? Right. Did you ever expect this type of response? No, the first time you asked me to do Casino Royale, I thought, well, you know, one video and that would be it, and then... Skyfall, and here it is. It's amazing. Another video. So, I, I took a count. I just had to. Um, your videos have had a quarter of a million unique <laughs> views. That's that means impressive, yeah. not people going back to it. That means unique individuals. Yeah. It's insanity. Yeah, I would never have expected it. Well, so, listen. I, we not You're not here to see us jibber-jabber and stand up. You're here to see the haircut. So... The great thing is there's been lots of pictures. There's been, what, four or five trailers already. And, you know, John is not just the best barber in the world. And, I'm, I, yes, I'm opinionated, but there we go. <laughs> but he's actually a student. And you've studied the picture for yes. Spectre. Yep. We, you showed me a couple pictures. Yeah. We looked at both of them, three of them. Yeah. I think I got it down pretty good. You got it down? I got it down. You ready to do this? I'm doing it. All right, this is going <laughs> to live like well beyond eternity. Eternity. Yes. All right, I'm going to sit ready. in the magical seat and we're going to get underway. And we may just tell a, a few interesting stories as we're getting the haircut. Always an exciting time. By the way, you can see that we've rented out the entire place for the evening. It's totally empty. We're closed. Nobody's they're they're closed. Coming. Nobody's coming. John has cleared the deck, <laughs> so to speak. All right. So I was looking at the pictures. Mm -hmm. Skyfall haircut, pretty short. Very short, right? The Spectre haircut, a little bit of both. It's got the shortness of the Skyfall. Right. With more length, more fullness on the top. Okay. Not too much, just a little bit. So we're going to do clippers on the bottom, mm -hmm. the perimeter. And then scissor over comb, and, and uh, you know, that new hard part. Right. And let's do it. Let's do it. All right, here we go. So a lot of people ask what number I use on them. They do ask that. The problem is everybody uses a different clipper. Okay. So Whoa. my numbers might not match up to other people's numbers. So it only makes sense to show the clipper that I use, because you may go to your barber, and his clipper is much different than this one. Interesting. Okay. So... The clipper I use is the Oster Model 10. It's been around forever. And for this cut, I'm using the number 2. So we're going to start <clears throat> at the perimeter. The whole bottom will be with the 2, but I keep it low. I don't take the clipper up too high. Okay. And so what you're doing right now is essentially Skyfall. Yes. The bottom part here is no different than what the Skyfall haircut was. It's short. But I keep it low, and then I'll be using the scissors for the rest of the haircut after that. Yeah, I didn't realize how short the Skyfall haircut was until I started looking at the new Spectre haircuts. It's it's really short. Yeah, yeah. there was a lot of um, a lot of the fans actually complained about it. They thought it was too much, and then the uh, the costume designer and, and some of the visual people had said that they had done that specifically to make them look older, and it, and it worked. It did make them look older. Yeah. Now, the whole thing of Skyfall was he was kind of an aging James Bond. You know, it was all about just the old ways of that. So when you say the lower perimeter, it's just going around. Yeah, I'm just doing like the, the bottom two inches of the haircut. Right. With the number two. And I'm just lightly tapering it in, not putting any hard lines in there, and then we'll smooth out any anything that's long or hanging over, we'll smooth that out with the uh, scissors. Nice. So would you say that compared to 
Christina Ray Allen's Skyfall, this is a more complicated haircut or just different? It's just a little different. Actually, I, I feel like all his haircuts are very similar. If you look through old, you know, Daniel Craig's uh, haircuts, they're not that different. True. Just some a little shorter than others. This one's a little bit on the longer side. I think I prefer this cut because I think with a little bit more hair and the corners and the top, it gives you more versatility. By the way, there was a couple people that posted. It's hysterical to see some of the comments um, on some of these haircut videos, but one of the comments was, uh, who does this David Zeritsky think he is? He's got gray hair. He can't possibly be Bond. <laughs> Deal with it. I am not James Bond. I'm David Zeritsky, all right? I'm just having fun. My gosh. It's escapism. It's a hobby. I love coming to John's place. It's <laughs> 30 minutes of relaxation. And the only difference is the color of the hair. It's the same haircut. You just have to have a few more grays. Thank you. A thousand more grays. <laughs> and he's probably got them, but he, I'm sure he's got a good colorist. Now, I finish it up with one more blade. This is a 1A, which is essentially a one and a half. Hmm. And I like to do that just at the very bottom. And it just kind of tapers out all around the uh, the perimeter to cut the very bottom. It's just a light taper. And I think that's the difference. It just kind of finishes the cut. And I do that on the sideburns also. I'll come around to the other sideburn. Sideburns coming. Watch out. Because it's a little full. Even the two doesn't take it down enough. So the one and a half at the very bottom of this really kind of blends it in and it actually makes the haircut last longer because oh. sideburns grow faster than the you know than the size of the hair so is that? if i do you know the beard the beard is just a oh, it's, it's, it's part of the beard That's part right. of the beard so if i did the whole thing with that too right in a week from now those sideburns would most likely be longer like mutton chops yes it would be longer than what the size of your hair was yeah. so i always finish the cut with one blade lower on the sideburns and the back of the neck. And that's the difference in making the haircut last an extra week. Thank you for that. I would love to have you come in more often. I was going to say, as much as we <laughs> love to uh, kibitz and things like that. I want my haircut to last. <laughs> so before I use the scissors, I'm just going to finish up the perimeter of the cut. The Sounds whole, good. The whole base. And this is just a basic outline, and this is an Andis style liner and it's a basic uh, edger and also I just, it's a whole different thing it's a whole different clipper and wow. it's a fine tooth all it does is just edge and just kind of cleans up the, the neck and around the ears and just just to finish it's so funny i've had so many people say that they play your videos to their barber and i'm thinking they're going to show them this video and the, all the barbers around the world are going to have to go out and buy new equipment they're going to kill you Nah. You're, gonna, you're gonna have like a line of barbers outside the door. You know, there's a, there's a, uh, there's probably a hundred different clippers out there. They're all good in their own way. I just chose these because this is what I'm used to using. But if your guy doesn't have those clippers, there's comparable. Yeah, there's there's different brands, different uh, models. I don't know. You know, I I think the ones I use are are the best, but somebody may disagree. So John, you know. Um, I think I've told you this, but uh, Danielle and I are heading over to London. Yes. We are going to be, uh, we, we have tickets for the night of the premiere, but we're not going to the royal premiere yet. We're trying to get tickets, but regardless, I'm going to have to come back and get one of these Spectre haircuts before I go. Absolutely. For sure. And by the way, I, I need to tell people, <laughs> because there have been people coming here um, and requesting John specifically to cut, like the video, We've, we'll tell a couple of the stories, but one thing you've got to know is that outside of James Bond, John is extremely booked. <laughs> so if you want to get your hair cut by John, it's not like you can just walk in. Um, John, what do you think? They've got to like book like a month, two months in advance? Depending on the time of day. It could be, could be two weeks, could be three weeks. You know, if you want to come in at 8 o'clock at night, that's the time everybody wants to come in. That's right. If you're willing to come in on a Tuesday at 11 o'clock in the morning, I'd be happy to have you. 
So here's the deal. I mean, Newtown's a great place to have lunch and hang out and, you know, go to John. And people have actually set it up as Mecca. I mean, they'll, <laughs> they'll come to John. I mean, how, how far have people come to get a, a James Bond haircut? Because of your videos, I've had, I, I thought D.C., I guess it would be Manhattan, D.C. I've had a request from a guy from California. Oh. But the request was to go out to California. Right. I don't think my wife or uh, children would, would love that idea. But Wait, they said to come out to California? I had a guy offer to fly me out to California. You're joking. Do the haircut. What? Take me in for the night, and then, you know, that was it. Fly me back home. Oh, my gosh. Yes. All because of your video. Unfortunately, I had a decline. There's no way I was going to be able to... Now, if you had, if you had gone to your wife and said, "Hey, honey, we've got a round trip California trip," well, if you would have offered, different. if you would offer to bring my wife and kids, that would have been a no so. Brainer. Whoever that was out there that's watching this video, up the ante. <laughs> it's all you've got to do. It's all in the proposal. Come we're, on, people. We're a package deal. Oh my gosh! You even had somebody that was uh, originally from uh, some some place in Africa here. Yes. Yeah. There was a guy from Northern Africa. Huge James Bond fan, saw your video. Oh my gosh. He lived in North Jersey, worked in Manhattan, and he made the trip to, down to come see me. Just Great to guy. get Erica. Just to get Erica. It was amazing. Unbelievable. Believe me, I'm very humbled by it. Well, it's it's well deserved. I mean, I've, look, the reality is, is John and I have been really, really good friends for many years, but before that, you know, it, it was a wayward world. And, you know, I think you've also connected with the Bond fans because. It's not a joke to you. I mean, you know, the right. Bond lifestyle, it's interesting. Even Esquire magazine is doing an article on every man has a little bit of James Bond in them. I mean, so just so everybody knows that's watching this video, John and I, when it, we're not being filmed, we sit here and we talk about two films we want to see this coming winter. What are the two films, John? That's uh, a no-brainer. It's the uh, Spectre video uh -huh. movie and uh, Star Wars. And Star Wars. Yeah, hundred percent. That's it. I haven't been to the movie in probably three, four years. <laughs> but those are the two. But I'm coming out of retirement for those two. Exactly. Movies. So this is no joke. Absolutely. And we can't do a Star Wars haircut because that's just not my hobby. <laughs> so real fast, what I'm doing now is I went to the scissor over comb technique because you don't want to you get into any clippering up in this area. If you looked at the pictures from Spectre, uh, Daniel Craig has hair in this yeah. region. Skyfall was much shorter. I would say I would probably take the clipper up a little higher, but for this cut, we're going to leave more hair in the corners and in the crown. We're not going to get up into that crown. Just doing a little scissor over comb, which blends the clipper work I did at the bottom to what David already has on the top. And making sure we don't go too short because we need this hair to do stuff. Absolutely. Yeah, this is a this is a tight rope. I mean, this is definitely a fine balance here. Yeah, this is to me what really defines most men's haircuts. It's the blending from the short base to the longer top. Mm. That's where a lot of people struggle. Usually, I I I, I always think the uh, the biggest mistake people make is they take the clippers up too high. And they take the fade up into here, and now the guy has no hair oh. to part or, or, you know, not part. Right. Now, will the rest of the haircut be done with scissors, pretty much? Yes. Wow. No more clippers from here on out. The only thing I use the clippers on is, like I said, it's like the bottom one, one to two inches, and that's it. Everything else is just a scissor cut. Now, your hair is already pretty short because you were just cut a couple weeks ago. Yes. So we're just going to do a light trim on the top. We were looking at those pictures uh, about a half hour ago. You're a little long in the front right here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to trim the very front. Okay. And as we get to the back here, I, you know, you don't need much of a cut in the back here. So we're just going to do a light trim on the front. Okay. And then after that, it's all really in the style. It's all in putting the product that's, in and styling it. And that's the whole kind of like bends towards. Yes. 
Yeah, what we see is he has it up in the front. Yeah. And then it goes to the side. So, and John was looking at the poster to kind of get that cadence, if you will, of my hair. Absolutely. Your hair is actually kind of similar to, to his hair. In the way that he has a cowlick, it looks like mm -hmm. in the part. It has taken me 10 years to train it that way. <laughs> I don't know what that means. It's crazy talk. All I know is every time I come in here, I say, John, it's the Casino Royale. Now I'm going to have to kind of switch to the Spectre. <laughs> yeah, we get so used to the Casino Royale. The Casino Royale has been everything. The nice thing is there's not a major difference between the two. No. You can go from one to the other. You're not going to go to work the next day. and people. Absolutely. Are, nobody's going to even notice, most likely. My wife, Danielle, laughs at me when I say my hair is getting long. And she's like, what are you talking about? It looks the same as it did two weeks ago. <laughs> of course it does. Yeah, on the top here, I figure on the top, I grab I grab it with the fingers, mm -hmm. and then just slightly longer than finger length. Mm. I don't take it down to the fingers, that'd be too short. Right. So we're going finger length, and then I raise it up a little bit. This way it's not too short. Yeah. That Casino Royale cut, we were taking it down shorter than that. Yeah, absolutely. So what we saw in the, uh, in the picture from... The, uh, the movie, it was up in the front, and then it looked like it went to the side, and that's the major difference. It's not straight up. A lot of people want to go straight up and leave it straight. That's not, that's right. not what it was. It it's was, going it was, to the side. It's going to the side, up to the side. No hard part. There's no part in yeah. there. Which is actually, organically, what I prefer anyway. Absolutely. So we're going to the side. Yep. And in any part you may have, you could just use your fingers. Just push it over. Right, no comb. If you look in those uh, pictures we saw, he doesn't really use a comb when he's styling his hair. No. You know, he's going to the side, he's pushing it to the side, and then he's just lightly with the fingers, just kind of pushing it forward where the part would be. And that's, 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 that's really what the, uh, that's exactly what it looked like. That is phenomenal. That's awesome. I feel lighter. It's in the styling itself. Yeah, actually, if, if, the, if the cut is right, you yeah. can style it any which way you want. And you can put any type of product. I like to put something in there that's not liquid or, or wet. What you got there? <laughs> so the product I like to use, and, and you could use any product you want. I just don't like using anything wet or liquid. Right. You have to, when you apply, you got to wait for it to dry. Mm -hmm. It could take minutes. And then by the time it dries, your hair has fallen you know, down. It's not where you put it originally. Yeah. What's so you got there? I'm going to put this product. It's, it's cold muck. It's from Australia. Um, if you don't have it, you could use a million other different types right. of product. You don't have to use the muck. Looks like a paste. It's, a, it's a paste. And uh, it has a natural look. It doesn't create shine. It's, it has a very natural look to it. But it does hold. And you don't have to wait for this to, to dry. Oh. It holds instantly. Nice. So wherever you set your hair is is how it's going to stay for the rest of the day. Nice. So no comb. Right. We're going to go up into the fr you know up uh, front here, mm -hmm. and then we're going to go to the side because his hair is not straight up. That's right. And then instead of the part, he just pushes it forward. So there's no hard part in there. Perfect. That's awesome. The line starts here, people. The line starts here. And I don't put much in there. I really spread the product in my hands before yeah. I put it in. You know, I noticed that. Very light. You know, I like to spread it and just real yeah. lightly kind you know of. You know people with like helmet heads and yeah. take down. And if, it's, if it's applied right, it doesn't even look like you have anything in there. That's true. All right. So we're going to finish the cut with the hot lather shave. My favorite part. Down. This is the... Uh, this is like, uh, I don't know, this is like uh, Prozac. It's just so nice. It's just, if you're feeling down from the day and you're feeling like, oh, what, what a terrible boss I have and things like that, you get this hot shave on the back of your neck. It just feels so good. Why is that? Is it because it's traditional or? 
I think because it's hard to find these days too. It is. I think hard. if everybody did it, it wouldn't be so special. Right. But you can't go to a salon and get yeah. that done. And even a lot of barber shops don't do it anymore. Why don't they it's, do it? Um, well, the state of Pennsylvania, you have to be a licensed barber to do it. And uh, there's not many barbers left in Pennsylvania. Everybody's going to hairdressing school and beauty school. Right. So they're not licensed to do it. Um, New York, New Jersey, I'm not sure what their laws are, but in PA you have to be a barber to shave. Wow. So there's less barbers, less guys to do a shave. And your m magic machine over there has been around since the dawn of time, right? Yeah, although it's a newer model. It's a new model, but the, I, I, mean, I remember seeing that as a kid. Yes. Yeah, it's changed over the years. This one's, the, the old ones had the chrome and it really, yeah. they were really cool. They're hard to find now. So, uh... I'm embarrassed to say the lather is a little thin. I don't know why it's a little all thin, right, but all right. it's working. There's nothing wrong with it. I usually like it a little thicker than this. But it's the heat. It's the heat. It's got it's got good heat to it. And it's not too thin. I like it a little thicker for whatever reason today. The uh, it was just it was just on the thin side. Could be the oxygen levels. <laughs> could be, yeah. Let's blame it on something. <laughs> So it's interesting, the, uh, when Skyfall came out, a lot of the people that uh, you know, kind of emulate the Bond lifestyle, if you will, they were getting the short haircuts, and it was so short that they would get one and kind of like jump back to whatever they were getting before. This seems to be the type of cut that people could live with, like Absolutely. almost like the Casino Royale. Yeah, it's, it's, this is an everyday cut. There's... You know, you can go to work, you, you can go to gym. It's This is just an everyday cut. There's nothing, you know, special about this. It, it's not going to take you a half hour in the morning to make this haircut look oh, good. Oh, gosh, no. In fact, I just, the Skyfall one was almost military. Yeah, yeah, that nature. was more military. So it was like, do I want a military cut? But this is like, you know what? It's different, but it's it's livable. I mean, it's so livable. Yeah, and it's professional. Yeah, absolutely. No matter what you do for a living, you, you can have this haircut. So I just finish up the cut with a little bit of witch hazel, just to kind of... Witch hazel, very traditional. Up. Just a natural stringent. And then I always like to finish it up with uh, a little powder, a little talcum powder. A little powder, powder right. Been around for... Um, I had ever, that at home. It's phenomenal. Forever. Yeah. Everybody knows this. So what does the talcum do? It will, well, you know, right now your hair, your hair, your neck is wet. Right. And it's sticky. There was hair on it. So what this does, it dries you up and uh, it'll, any little pieces of the hair that are on your neck, it draws it out. Because right uh, now, you know, you're a little sticky. So the powder, what it does, it kind of dries you out. And anything that was sticking to your neck, any little pieces of hair, come right off. I do this on hot days and Danielle says that I leave like uh, cloud puffs behind me when I walk around. <laughs> yes. It's not a good thing. So this is good. Get the cape off. Wow. And All that's right. it. All right, people. This is it. Spectre haircut by the James Bond barber of the world, John the Barber. <laughs> thank John, you. thank you so much. Good it to see you, Dave. Thank absolutely you. amazing. Appreciate and uh, we'll see you in three years when we uh, the do next the, next, the next video. Next yeah, movie, yeah, exactly. Yeah. John, thanks so much. You're welcome. This has been David Zaritsky for the Bond Experience. I got my new haircut. I'm ready. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.